We're going to talk about a movie that um, is of great, you know, um, impact. Now that's coming out, um, I was there at the premiering with some of the cast, and uh, you know, heard from the people who put the movie together, the concept, the idea, and it's going to be out in a bit. Well, we've got one of the uh, leading characters, as I mentioned earlier in the studio, that we'll talk about this movie. But before he joins us here, let's take a look at the trailer. Trust me, you'll love this one. Make sure you all test negative. If you have the virus, go and you need to I'd like to welcome you all aboard this wonderful bus. If you are here, you are heading towards Accra. If you are not, please, yes, you get down and find your own bus because once this foot presses that accelerator, we are not stopping. Today, and forever, you have a small problem. Engine failure. Did you do what? So what are we going to do? There's a motel, not too far from here, just a few kilometers. My name is Madam Tasty. I'm the manager here, and you are welcome to the Blue Palace Motel. This whole building, more network. It gives the place a whole retreat feel. Following the press conference, His Excellency has announced the lockdown for the next two weeks due to the ongoing coronavirus, that is COVID-19 outbreak. Don't tell me you people also believe this corona nonsense. The whole world, out of nowhere, virus. Somebody is lying to us. Where's my sanitizer? Can I still join you guys to sleep in the bath? Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> no, you like trouble. Oh, from oh. <laughs> Thomas, oh, Thomas is coming. <laughs> what did you see? You were opening the drone. I can tell. <laughs> Hello, shit. Who touched you? Oh my God! You called violating a child's right, love. I'm just asking you to do this small thing. You are asking me to deny my religion here. This is about last night. She was like, just a nice, that's all. What can I say? Oh. I miss my taste. <laughs> People are dying, and you are making light of it all in the name of religion. The God I serve is bigger than any pandemic. Okay, so that was the trailer of the movie Wildfire, and this gentleman, it's if it's theater, you see him there. Voice of us, you hear him there. And of course, in movies, he's also there. I want to leave him to introduce himself and the character he played in there and why he allowed Ajita and I to take his. <laughs> yeah, I had to say that. I'll confirm whether it was taken or not. So. That <laughs> hasn't been confirmed. Good morning to you and welcome. Good morning. My name is Andrew Tando Adote. And uh, yeah, I'm an actor for stage and screen. I'm, I play a role in Wildfire. You heard a voice? Yeah. That's why I wanted him to introduce you. You know, very familiar. It. So, this movie, mm -hmm. um, I'm talking to some of the other um, characters in the... I mean, what, what caught your attention with this one that you had to join in? Oh, I mean, um, the pandemic was, uh, of course, a global phenomenon that affected the lives of many people. And it was very interesting how they, have, they had weaved it into the story of this uh, bus full of passengers and how it affected each and every one of them and you know how they were how they were able to you know overcome whatever issues because it it, it for a lot of the characters the pandemic became like a catalyst to bring out a lot of other issues mm. that they were dealing with that they had to confront and all that so it was a very you know very interesting storytelling style that i found very intriguing and it was uh, it was an honor to be a part of it I know it was shot in two weeks or so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, this is Ghana. You, know, you have to... You have to <laughs> squeeze in. You have to do it very quickly. But, but uh, uh, I, I, I was also impressed with the quality of with all the constraints in place. You know, um, they had to uh, get the most out of it within mm. the constraints, financial constraints, location constraints, and everything. So um, I was quite impressed that they were able to come up with this level of quality within that short time. Is that difference? This one is a stage. This isn't. This isn't a stage play. No, it's not. Okay. So what's the difference? Because we know Tando is mostly on stage doing his thing. So when he gets a script like this, like, what's the difference? Well, the difference is, um, you know, for screen, 
there, there's, uh, there isn't much rehearsal mm -hmm. going on. You mm -hmm. know, you have the script, you go on stage and you do it. Um, also, on screen, uh, for screen, there's a lot of waiting involved yeah. because you have to set up the lights and yeah. things and all that. But for the stage, once the production takes off, That's it. it doesn't. There's no break mm -hmm. and things like that until the end. Okay. You know, but with this one, you know, you have to wait for this and do this and and set up this set mm -hmm. and go and sleep and come back and all that. So, I'm still getting used to the process. You know. Which do you love most? Um. I would say stage, you know, okay. Uh, okay. because because one because it's what I've been doing for the longest, okay, and I'm used to that process, you know. Uh, so, you know, as time goes on, I'm sure I'm sure there are there, there are aspects of screen that I also fall in love with, mm. you know. Well, with this movie also, there are lots of um, new kind, new actors. Mm -hmm. I should say, like uh, Gwendolyn, there was a lady like that mm -hmm. that I met at the launch. How is it for people like you who have been in the industry for a very long time trying to integrate and work together with those who are now being on the screen for the first time? Oh, it, it, was, it was cool. I mean, it's, it's all about um, just being, you know, cool to hang out with, you know, the, the, the basic human courtesies mm. and things like that. If the person is a nice person, person is humble, the person is respectful, easy to work with, it's, it's, always, it's always cool. Okay. You know, so I, I've, I've never really had an issue with um, new actors on the scene. You know, it's, okay. it's always nice, humility, love. It's cool. Okay. So I know this was put together by the Youth Bridge Foundation. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been, I've been, I don't want to misrepresent anything that the, they stand for. So I'll read directly. <laughs> so the Youth Bridge Foundation is an independent, non-profit organization committed to youth development across Africa and okay. the diaspora. Okay. So that's, what, that's who they are. And uh, the, the, mov the movie itself was produced by the JSE. Um, they produced the wildfire for the w Youth Bridge Foundation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's it. Um, mm -hmm. The premiering? It's yeah, the premiering no. uh, 21st, 21st. Uh, October um, at the Alliance Francaise. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, if, uh, if you get in touch with the Youth Bridge Foundation, you know, they'll hook you up. Yeah, yeah. it's strictly by invitation. Yeah, strictly by invitation. So <laughs> yeah. you will have to go through the Youth Bridge Foundation. Yes. Um, the, their contacts is on all the social media, okay. the okay. posters and things oh. like that. The number is on the poster. Okay. So there shouldn't be anything, there shouldn't be any issues per se uh, getting, getting, you know, invited. Invited in there. So basically, you've got to be there. Uh, no, you cannot be there if you've not been invited. You have got to call fast, to yeah. get your invitation True. fast, and be there yeah. on time. Yeah, yeah. But, but also, um, you just watch out for it when, it when it comes out, because this, for me, is a global movie, because yeah. I was saying that COVID-19 had affected all True. of us, but I was waiting for a Ghanaian producer to put something like this together. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, I mean, the, the information on the movie isn't very hard to find. Mm -hmm. um, we've been making a lot of, a lot of noise on mm -hmm. social media, a lot of noise. Um, uh, even in the, in the media and things like that. So when you find the poster, just, just look closely. There are, it's a very interesting thing, you know. Um, you can put everything on the poster, the Ghanaian, a Ghanaian will see it and still call <laughs> you and ask you for the information that is already on the poster. They'll see the poster. Yeah. They said it is at National Theatre or it's at Alliance Francaise. Then they'll call and say, where is that thing? Oh, right <laughs> So please just look closely. <laughs> All the information yeah. is out there. Yeah. It's very easy to find. So just just uh, come along, uh, get in touch with Youth Bridge Foundation, and let's see what we can do. Andrew, yes. thank you very very much for My coming pleasure. through. Yeah.